So what are the most important elements when making the transition from singles to doubles? How can you make that transition as quick as possible? I'm gonna talk about that today. My name is Ian, I'm the head pro here at EssentialTennis.com, and in this episode of Ask Ian, we're gonna answer a question from Shane, who wrote to me and said, I'm doing this league thing and it consists of singles Monday and doubles Tuesday, but I find it hard to switch from singles to doubles. What's your advice? Well, Shane, I've, I've for a long time, a long time now, have said that singles and doubles really should be considered totally different sports. Uh, they're totally different tactically. Of course, a lot of the techniques, obviously, uh, transition over from singles to doubles. But the tempo of the points, the rhythm of the points, the tactics, the shot selections needed, if you want to be really, really successful in singles or doubles, the mindsets are totally different. So don't feel bad that it's it's difficult for you to switch from one to the other. That's really, really common. And uh, don't feel bad about that. So four things that are, I, I think, most important in making that transition. Number one, knowing what to do with your eyes and what to focus on. This is a big one. I would recommend that as much as possible you keep your eyes forwards when you go from singles to doubles. It's very tempting to want to track the ball from your opponent's side of the court, especially when you're at the net, back to your partner, back behind you, and that big swing of perspective and shifting your vision in such a big sweep makes it so difficult to be, to feel in balance and feel like you have a sense of what's going on in front of you when your eyes finally get back and shifted over back on the other side of the net. I strongly recommend that you keep your eyes forwards. It can sometimes be valuable to check out what your partner is doing and see what kind of balance that he or she is in, but the, there's much, much more valuable information to be gathered on the other side by watching your opponents. That's more valuable than watching your partner back behind you. So avoid the temptation of constantly shifting back and forth, back and forth. Keep your eyes in front of you, focus on the ball, focus on your opponents, see what they're doing. That's how you should be figuring out what to do with your positioning and how to anticipate what's coming next. Without that, you'll feel really lost and just like you're floating around, which, which is obviously not how you're gonna be successful. Number two, single most important tactical thing that I can possibly tell you, and this in a nutshell is, in my opinion, the single most important tactical thing to be aware of. When you have an offensive opportunity, that means that you're relatively close to the net and you're making contact above the height of the net, you should be aiming towards the person who's closest to you. They have the least amount of time to react and their feet are directly accessible to you if you're close and the ball is high. If you're in a neutral or defensive scenario where you're further away and the ball is below the height of the net, you're having to hit the ball upwards to clear the net, then aim for the person who's further away from you. So many players reverse this, and so they have an opportunity to put the ball away, and they hit to the person who has more time, and as a result, they get lobbed. Or they're in a tough spot, and they hit to the person who's close to them, who's in a position to be offensive and try to put the ball away. Don't reverse those ever. If you can just do what I just said, then you're gonna be well ahead of most of the players at your local courts. So offense, close, person close to you. Defense, person furthest away from you. Number three, hit as many overheads as physically possible during your practice time. A huge reason why players are not as successful in doubles as they should be is they don't have the confidence to hit their overhead with authority or with power or they just don't have the technical ability to, to do that or place it where they want it to go. Hit a ton of overheads and your transition will be much easier. And lastly, practice deep volleys and half volleys as much as possible. The other big reason why tennis players aren't as successful at doubles as they should be is anybody can hit a volley when they're right up next to the net and the ball is coming to them, right? What everybody can't do is manage a ball when they're further away from the net and the ball is low. If you can practice your half volleys and your deep transition volleys, then that'll put you way ahead of the curve compared to most of your peers. Combine that with a confident overhead and you'll be a big asset to all of your doubles partners. So in review, keep your eyes forwards, focus on what's in front of you, single most tactical, single most important tactical element, offense to the close person, defense to the far away person, 
spend time on your overheads, and spend time on your half volleys and your deep volleys. Do those four things and your transition will be much, much easier than it is now. I hope that's helpful to you. Uh, if you'd like some additional coaching on doubles, you can click the link in the description down below or head over to doublesdomination.com and you can sign up for a free series of videos that will go much, much more in depth than what I just talked about. But this should be a good place to start. If you have any comments or questions about anything I just talked about, leave those in the description, or not the description, the comments down below. And if you have any topics that you'd like me to discuss in future episodes of Ask Ian, leave those down below as well. Until then, thank you for watching, take care, and good luck with your tennis. For hundreds of free digital tennis lessons, head over to EssentialTennis.com right now. More wins and more fun on the court is right around the corner. You'll even get a free gift just for stopping by. Simply click the link at the top of any page.